Hey guys, John V here from Phone Arena. Right now, I'm here in Vegas for CS 2014. I'm with the Lenovo team, and I'm checking out the Lenovo S650. And I've got a chance to check out the S930, which is more of an entry-level phablet, but this device is very similar, except for the fact that it's just a smaller form factor. So more form-fitting in the hand. If you don't like those large hands, and you want something smaller, it's gonna be a device that's gonna suit your needs more. Now, the biggest thing here, it just has a smaller display, 4.7 inches, QHD resolution, so that's 1960 by 540. Not the most high-res thing, you know, we've seen other displays out there with 1080p, but this is more than sufficient for basic use, so let's say you're browsing the web, it shouldn't be too much of an issue here. You can see the viewing angles are pretty good too, it doesn't distort that much, not too overpowering with its brightness output, so it's a very pleasant looking display. As far as the design, pretty much in tandem to the other devices we've checked out. For example, the uh, Lenovo S930, the phablet one, you can see how the design element is pretty much intact with, it's pretty uniform with all of the devices they're announcing here. So you have a plastic body which is accented by this uh, plastic metallic looking trim in the bottom and around the edges. A good contrast to it, um, on the left hand side it's pretty much clean. The bottom edge, you have just the micro USB port for charging data connectivity. You have the microphone there as well. The right side, it looks like you have just the uh, dedicated dedicated uh, volume controls right there, separated. It's a little bit on the flat side, and the response, a little, a little, you need to press down just a little bit to activate it. Up top, physical power button, also a little bit on the flat side. You have 3.5mm headset jack. On the back, you have an 8 megapixel autofocus camera with flash. On the front, you have just a VGA 0.3 megapixel front facing camera, the earpiece. The design, you know, um, not the most exquisite. It's a little bit more modest. Nice textured plastic body, giving it a clean finish. It's powered by a uh, uh, the MediaTek Quad Core 1.3 gigahertz processor, and it seems to be doing a pretty good job right here. We don't see, we don't notice that much slowdown right now, but in a quick look here, I really can't say if it's going to handle more processor intensive stuff. Now it's powered by the Android 4.2 Jelly Bean Experience, customized by. Lenovo, it's a more simplified approach. They've uh, gotten rid of the app panels and put everything in the home screen. You still have all the features of Android intact. Now, it's all about pricing with this device here. It's going to be priced aggressively at 229 US dollars. It's not going to be available here in the US, but you can still import it. It's going to be available in all the countries in outside the US that, that, uh, that Lenovo devices are sold. So this is just basically an all-around stylish smartphone with a good price point. So if you want to learn more about the Lenovo S650, guys, you can check out our website, phonerena.com. John V, thanks for watching.